cream cakes you might not always want a smooth finish on the outside so in this week's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you three different techniques that you can use to add texture so the first technique we're going to create a real rustic finish the second technique I'm going to show you how you can use texture combs and on the third technique I'm going to be showing you how by using stencils you can add texture onto the side of your cakes okay let's get started so the first thing that I'm going to do with all of the techniques that I'm going to show you today is fill and crumb coat my cake so I've got a five inch cake here so it just measures five inches across and it's around four and a half inches in height now I'm adding a crumb coat onto the outside just to lock in any of those loose crumbs so they don't appear in our final layer of buttercream now for my buttercream I'm using my American buttercream recipe I will put a link in the description below to my American buttercream cream recipe now for my buttercream I colored this using some of the pink gel color and this one is by sweet stamp and it's just giving me this really pretty pale pink color now for the crumb coat you want this quite thin on the outside so I'm just using my metal scraper just going around the outside just taking off any excess I do have a more detailed video showing how I prepare fill and crumb coat my cakes with buttercream and I will put a link to this video on the screen and also in the description below I'm then going in on the top just pulling that buttercream into the center using my offset spatula once I'm happy with that crumb coat I'm gonna take my cake and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for around 20 to 30 minutes just to allow that buttercream to firm up we can then start adding the texture around the edge okay so for my first texture I'm gonna be pushing some grooves into the side of my cake to give it a real rustic feel now for this you don't need any specific tools you just want something with a rounded end so here I've got my smaller offset spatula which I'm gonna be using so it's got this rounded end and it just measures around a centimeter and a half across now if you didn't have an offset spatula like this you could just use the end of a knife or alternatively you could just use the end of a teaspoon now for our buttercream you want to make sure that your buttercream is quite soft so again this is just my American buttercream recipe and I'm gonna use my spatula and just push that buttercream against the side of my bowl just pushing out as many air bubbles as I can and this is gonna make our buttercream look nice and smooth on the outside as we pull our offset spatula around so I'm gonna take my crumb coat cake out of the fridge and place it on my turntable now for this technique a really smooth turntable is really useful and I will put links to all the tools that I've used in today's video in the description below I'm then going to add another layer of buttercream on the top of my cake and also on the sides so you want this to be a thickness of around half a centimeter now this is a great texture to add onto the side of your cakes if you're trying to create a rustic feel maybe a rustic birthday cake but it looks especially great on wedding cakes okay so once we've roughly coated the outside of our cake in our buttercream I'm going to start by taking my metal smoothing tool and just running it around the edge taking off any excess just to give us a good base to start with now this layer doesn't have to be perfect but we just want to make sure that it's nice and even all the way around our cake I'm going to start by cleaning off my offset spatula placing the bottom edge against my board slightly push it in at the same time I'm going to turn my turntable all the way around just to push in this groove now you would have taken off some buttercream so I'm going to get rid of that I'm then going to hold the bottom of my spatula at the top of that previous row that we created and just work that turntable all the way around you then want to work your way all the way up the cake until we get all the way to the top any areas that have some large buttercream overhanging that you don't like you can go in and just take those off 
Now, as you can see, I've done separate rows that run around the outside of the cake. One thing you can do is do a continuous line. So if you wanted to do this, you just wanna tilt your offset spatula slightly and work your way up the cake as you turn. So here we have the first technique with this really rustic texture around the outside. You can then transfer your cake onto your cake board or if you're stacking a tiered cake and decorate it how you like. Okay, so for my second technique, a great way to add texture around the side of your buttercream cakes is to use a scraping tool that's got pieces cut out. Now, this is the double-sided contour comb by Evil Cake Genius in the size medium. And as you can see, we've got two different patterns. Now, if I was to use this side, I would get a very similar effect to what we created on the first technique. So where we pushed in our offset spatula, the comb would actually do this and give us a very similar style. The only difference is it would be a lot neater than that rustic look. For this one, I'm actually going to show you the other side. So this is going to do the opposite and give us these really fun bumps on the outside of our cake. So again, I've got my crumb coated cake that I've taken out of the fridge and I'm gonna put a layer of buttercream over the outside. Once you've got that layer of buttercream, I'm gonna go straight in with my contour comb. Now, when using a contour or a texture comb, one thing you wanna make sure you do is keep the bottom of your scraper against your cake board at all times. The reason for this is because we're gonna be going around a few times, if you know that your comb is in the same place, you're not gonna mess up any of that texture. So I'm gonna start just by going around the first time, not pushing in too deep, just taking off any excess buttercream. This is gonna allow you to see any areas where you need a little bit more. I can then go in again, making sure that my scraper is on my board. So just continue around the edge with that scraper, just pulling it around until you're happy with the smoothness. Now you can get texture combs in so many different styles and so many different brands now make them. So you just have a look around and pick one that's gonna give you the type of texture that you want on the outside of your cake. I'm gonna go in with my offset spatula along the top, just pulling that buttercream into the center as I did before, just to get that nice and smooth. And once you're happy with the outside of your cake, we've got this really pretty texture, just looking like different rows of buttercream. For my third technique, I'm actually gonna be using a stencil. So this one I've got here is by Sweet Stamp and is the Lexi stencil. And as you can see, we've got these striped cubes that are cut out over the surface. Now, depending on how you want your texture to look, you could do it on the whole of the outside of your cake, or you could do it on just part of your cake. Now, one thing to know about stencils, usually you'll find they have small circles cut out in the corners, and this is so that you can add in some pins just to hold them in place. So in order for me to add the stencil design around the side of my cake, I'm gonna start with my crumb coated cake and add a layer of buttercream around the edge, just like I did to the other two. Now with this layer, I wanna get it as smooth as I possibly can before I add that stencil on. So I'm gonna scrape down the sides with my metal smoothing tool and try and get the sharpest edge on the top that I can. I'm then actually gonna place this cake back in the fridge for around half an hour for that outer layer of buttercream to firm up before we place the stencil or against the side. Okay, so once your buttercream has firmed up on the side of your cake, all you're gonna need is your offset spatula, your scraping tool. I've got a pile of little pins. Now, one thing to think about with the stencil is this gap at the bottom. Now, if you are going all the way around and you want the pattern to come right to the bottom of your cake, on a lot of stencils, you usually have this border. So this is gonna mean that our texture will start around a centimeter up from the bottom of the cake. One thing that you can do in order to make the pattern start at the bottom is place your cake onto something. So you could use a cake board, which is slightly smaller than the outside of your cake, or I've just got some acrylic discs here, which measure the same height as the bottom of my stencil. So I'm gonna place my cake on top. As you can see, it's raised it up at the bottom. So if I place that stencil, that pattern is gonna go right the way to the bottom of my cake. Now, if you were doing patches, you might just wanna hold 
the stencil against your cake and add on your buttercream. I'm actually gonna secure it in place. I'm then gonna go in with my buttercream, just adding this all over the top, add in a thin layer. I've then got my metal scraping tool and I'm gonna start on one side. So just taking it back to where you can see part of your stencil. I'm then gonna remove those pins, carefully peel that back, just neaten up that top edge. Now, in order to do the other half of my cake, I'm actually gonna pop this back in the fridge until that stencil design has firmed up. That way we can add the stencil up to the edge, knowing that we're not gonna ruin any of the pattern. Once that's come out of the fridge, I wanna do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna try and line up edge of my stencil so you just want it to start where the other one has ended and i'm going to wrap that around and i'm actually just popping my pins in about an inch from the edge so that i know where my buttercream has to come up to i'm then going to do exactly the same as i did before now i've used the same color buttercream so that the cake remains pink but you could also add different color buttercream over the top which is really going to make your stencil stand out so there we have our texture all the way around our cake. So here we have the three different techniques. The first technique, we created this really rustic finish on the side of our cakes. The second technique, we were able to create a really fun effect using texture combs. And for the third technique, I used a stencil to add this geometric pattern onto the outside. I really hope you'll find this video useful and be able to use some of these techniques in your own cake decorating. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes by Ninja YouTube channel. You can also hit the bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. So until next time, bye!